My name is Erica Fitzpatrick. My family ranch is here in Eastern Oregon, and I'm also part of the production team for Good Grazing Makes Sense. Today, we just wanted to take you on a quick tour with me as I am conducting our um, late summer photo monitoring. So if you've ever considered wanting to start a monitoring program for yourself, especially a very simple and quick and easy one, maybe this will give you a little glimpse into what we do and give you some inspiration on what you can do in your place. My process is very simple. I established the points in the first year. I used OnX. You could use any kind of GPS marking system, but um, OnX is very simple and easy to use. I marked a waypoint at every location that we wanted to monitor. And then I took the photo such that it, you could essentially see um, ground cover and how much forage was produced. And if possible, I tried to keep um, a landmark or some telling aspect of the land in the photo so that I can match that up to in the photo the next time. Where this was the original photo and then here it is in real life. <clears throat> I can line it up. Uh, this is a fence line comparison of two different pastures and uh, I can line it up here with the fence posts and I, we have a distinct red and a distinct green fence post which match our photo. Then I go back home and after I've taken all of my photos, I created a very simple Excel spreadsheet and I just um, track the photos in a timeline there so that I can see change over time. We selected our points to show um, various different aspects of each pasture. So um, a few locations we feed in the winter and we wanted to see how that impacted the, the sagebrush or our forage production in those areas. So we selected for that. We also selected for um, a few areas that we had problems with invasive annual grasses to see if um, those patches were increasing or decreasing. We also just selected a few just general representative spots in each pasture to just kind of show um, if a trend was moving in any certain direction. Um, we felt that this was a really good strategy. Uh, it was paring it down to manageable amount of points that made sense to us that would show things that actually mattered to us. Selecting the right time of year has also been key for us. Right now I'm monitoring two times a year, but I think over time we'll probably eliminate one of those times and then just do a more in-depth analysis um, on one time a year for each point. So right now we're monitoring in the late spring when we leave these pastures with cows, we graze throughout uh, essentially the dormant season through winter. And so we want to see our full utilization. And so that's why um, I go out and I monitor at, in uh, late April, early May. And then we go out this time of year, which is mid-August, um, right before we start bringing cows in to start grazing these pastures so that we can show the full production of that forage and um, to kind of see the difference year to year uh, that our, both our grazing and the type of year, um, the impact that it had on our forage production. There's a lot of ways you can monitor and that to us was overwhelming. So just picking something simple to start with and then evolving it as we go, I think was key for us. Um, it's easy to get bogged down in all of the different methods. Um, some of them require a bit more training than others. So we really just wanted to start with something that made sense to us and um, was doable. And now we're at a point where there's, there's a lot of other things that we'd like to monitor that would give us more quantitative data. And now I can go through the training and have the confidence to know that I will stick to our monitoring plan and um, just make sure that it doesn't take me too much time each year or get too overwhelming. So um, for us, it was really key to start simple. And then now we're finally at the point to start adding to that. At the end of the day, I think we always look through the lens of how the landscape looks right now. It's actually much harder to remember accurately what uh, what even a specific this is this is our driveway and um, I'm gonna forget year to year what it looks like right now and so the best way for us to remember that is through photos. It might not be super qualitative or quantitative data, but at least it shows us something. I think that um, we think that we catalog these things in our minds 
um, better than we actually do. And so for us to have those photos to look back on, I'm excited in 10 years to look back on um, all of the changes and all the transformation that we've been tracking. I wish we could look back now and see 10 years ago. I think it would tell us a lot about what's going on today because things are so slow moving out here um, on this landscape and on this range.